spread your awareness throughout the whole body. Buddhang Dhammang Sangang Namasami. To the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha, I bow down. So much of what we indulge in in life um, is actually painful, destructive, and bad for us. But we don't realize it until we take in or indulge to a certain point. You know, and watching TV or scrolling through our feed on Instagram or YouTube or whatever on our phone can seem pleasurable until we keep doing it. And at a certain point, we begin to sense that it's too much. Just, just like if we're drinking coffee. You keep drinking coffee at some point, it really starts to feel pretty terrible. You know, just like eating sweets or food in general. Some things like certain foods can be nourishing, but if we keep going, not knowing when to stop, it becomes pretty clear. You know, we get sick. But when we sit to practice meditation and in general, when we practice Dhamma, there, there's no such thing as too much. There's no such thing as too much silence or too much stillness. Yeah, of course, it, it may be difficult to practice with a certain level of intensity forever. You know, we might feel like we need a rest, but there's nothing here in the Dhamma that is painful. You can't have too much of it. So as you sit here, spreading your awareness throughout the whole body. You know, see if you can really taste what is being presented in the Dhamma. You can really allow yourself to take your fill. 
of the stillness in the body, the silence. You can take your foot, your fill of awareness, of your presence. You can sort of really trust the Buddha, his teachings. So we're inclining our mind towards delighting in Dhamma. And it should feel like a real reprieve, a real, there should be a sense of relief, you know, that for, for most of us, we spend a lot of time working and reading and looking at devices, taking in information. So there, there should be a joyfulness or a peacefulness in putting that all down. And and why not? It it never ends. So why not take a moment? So once again, spread your awareness throughout the whole body. And when I say whole body, I mean the whole body. So really expand the awareness, spread it out. See if you can feel your feet and your hands at the same time. Can you feel your legs and your arms at the same time? Your torso, your head, the whole body. Inhabit the space. Feel your presence. And remember the mind and the body are like two lovers. They belong together. And, and actually so much of the suffering we experience is there because the mind isn't home. It's running around, bumping into things. And just this simple movement of inviting the awareness back home to this physical field, just this is such a powerful remedy. And you don't need to force it. The, the body recognizes the awareness naturally as something good like a fire warming up a fireplace. The body is built for this, to, to hold the awareness, just like the fireplace is built to hold a flame. And in the same way that the mind, the chitta, the heart, the awareness recognizes the body as its home, so there's this sort of mutual recognition. So when we practice awareness or when we practice meditation, we don't need to force it where we are aligning with nature. We're remembering the way it is.
And you know, it's as I sit here practicing with you, um, I feel amazement. And, and I feel this very often on the path, just an amazement um, for, for the Dhamma. It, it's so right. Such a remedy. And for those of us who are lucky enough to come into contact with these teachings, you know, it's, it's like all along, we didn't really need anything else. We just need to apply these teachings. Uh, they, they really work. And we are really capable. We just need to practice.